What's up YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. In this case I, um, I'm at Walmart. I'm in my brand new 1969 Ford Mustang American Muscle. So it doesn't look too bad, right? I mean the interior, working on it. Listen to this muscle go off. Beautiful sound, right? Alright, let's turn this off. I'll give you a little tour of the, the vehicle really quick. Look at that. Let's get to the front. I know this is like really a bad uh, a bad view, but check that out. Woo! Look at those lines. Look at that. Anyways. Am I bragging? No. Then why am I showing you my car? Because you too can have a 1969 Ford Mustang. You can have five cars if you wanted to. All you got to do is know your worth, guys. Get out there and ask for more money. Yeah, I need a new headliner and uh, got new carpets on the way. Got some seats in here now. Slowly building up the interior. The exterior looks awesome. Why can't I afford this? Because, guys, like I keep saying, just ask for more money this week i've had so many people ask me you know do you think it's possible that as an unarmed guard i can make 16 bucks an hour my response is dude you can make 30 bucks an hour just you got to go out there and look don't ever take the first offer as your um as your offer as your answer just don't do it but um anyways that's not what the video is about the video today is about um safety now, I had a guy uh, send me a message and said, hey, do you wear your vest when you, you know, on the way to work? Um, do you put it on when you get to work? Look, guys, when I, when I leave work, I have my vest on until I get home. When I go to work, I have my vest on going to work. I never take that thing off. The only time I take off any of my gear is maybe at lunchtime if I'm in a secure area. When I say secure... I'm not talking about my vehicle. I'm talking about in the building, upstairs, downstairs, wherever I may be on break. Uh, but I keep it close by. I always leave my firearm on my side. I never take that off. That thing is glued to me from the moment I leave my house all the way till I get to work and then all the way back. So that thing is glued to me. never comes off. I know some guys will um, they'll take their gear off and... Um, you know at lunchtime and I'm just not about that an emergency can pop off at any time so here's some safety things dude lately I've been having a lot of the bad guys um, keeping tabs on me when I work things like that and you know I'm on their game I know what they're doing uh, because of that I have to take extra measures to keep myself safe so at the end of the shift um, and you know they may be watching this video let them let them know that I'm prepared okay at the end of the shift, I don't warm up my car. I just get in that vehicle, just make a U-turn. When I feel like I'm in a safe area, I'll let my car sit there and warm up a little bit. I don't put on my seatbelt. Because look, man, if things pop off and I'm over here trying to fumble with my seatbelt and take that off and then get out the car to have to shoot, um, it's uh, it, 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 you know, it could be a, a life and death situation. Dude, I got people checking me out here at Walmart like, who the hell is this guy talking to? Sorry, a little embarrassing. So yeah, I keep my, uh, I take my seatbelt off. I um, I don't keep it on um, at all. When I get near the freeway or I get a safe distance from where I work at, then I will um, take the take the seatbelt off, put it on, I should say. Sorry, I've just got too many people looking at me. I don't know why. What's going on today at Walmart for people to stare at me? So yeah, in that case, I'll um, put my seatbelt on right before I get on a freeway or after I've um, gotten a safe distance from my work post. But like I said, there is just absolutely no way that I would um, leave that on. What's that? Yeah, you can take a picture of the car. <laughs> take care. Here, let's start it up for him. See, I told you, man, I got people staring at me today. <laughs> Alright guys, so yeah, I um I get to the car, I don't warm that thing up, man. I take off as soon as I can. I make a U-turn. After I make that U-turn, 
then I um, drive a safe undisclosed location and I will um, I'll sit there and let the car warm up I don't put the seat belt on until I know I um, I need to and again that's just usually right before I get on the freeway at all times I have that gun on my lap man because I don't want to have to like dig for my holster and have it hit the the chair or get snagged onto something I have it it's it's ready to go and that's just the way I do it when I get to work I pull over and I look around man I absolutely make sure that there are no bad guys around me nobody that's gonna ambush me because again in this industry you make a lot of enemies and that's the last thing I want is for somebody to wait for me after work and try to enact some sort of vengeance on me um, having said that I keep my vest on man like why not I mean you paid all this money for a vest why not keep it on especially if you're just sitting down I mean if you're sitting and driving it's not wearing you down just just having it on so so keep it on again I keep my vests on all the time because it, it, it it's there to save my life in case God forbid anything happens I even go a step further and uh, I'll show you in one of my videos I haven't done on this vehicle yet but all my other vehicles I put Kevlar in my door so you go on eBay right you can buy like 10 Kevlar vests just the inserts just the Kevlar itself for about a hundred bucks they're used but I put them in my my uh, I take my door panels off I put the Kevlar in there and God forbid if anything ever uh, goes down and they start shooting at my doors it's that extra little bit of protection right at some point I'd like to have some sort of um, window protection I did have an idea yesterday so getting bulletproof windows is not feasible I understand this but I'm thinking what if I had something like up here on my car and it's like some plexiglass right and then you could just pull it down like like flip it down like this and then it like acts as just temporarily like when I'm sitting in my vehicle a Kevlar barrier in case somebody ever shoots to my window is it excessive probably but is it uh you know does it does it parallel with that old saying uh, what an uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure yes definitely so these are these are the things that I, I do and I think about I'm always trying to stay one step ahead of these guys you know if you're at a post and you're just guarding a parking lot or, or a gate you know you might not have to take the measures that I take but I will tell you I work in a pretty rough area and I do know that these guys recognize me they know that I'm vigilant and I don't just sit back and let them get away with things now I definitely stay within our guidelines I don't try to become like some sort of superhero and purposely um, um, try to get myself involved in other people's business if I see people breaking into cars and it's not you know within the area that I'm designed to guard you know I just I let it go you know if I do see the owner of the car I might say hey man check it out they're they're breaking into your car but um, I don't go out of my way to to mess with these guys money just you know whatever is in my immediate area that's on our property I um, I guard that but having said that yes I've had some incidences recently uh, we'll just keep it at that and um, I know these guys they either fear me because you know I I acted and I didn't back down or they're angry at me uh, it's one of those two emotions uh, and, and I, I really can't get into detail tell you why I think that but um, I can certainly say that it's there I would hope that they fear me and then from fear they respect they're like okay well you know what let's just leave this guy's area alone and move on to the areas around them because it's less likely to end badly but um anyways guys so there you go to answer your question yes I leave all my gear on once I leave the house in the morning it stays on me I get to work I wear it all day long maybe at lunchtime I'll take it off just to get a breather but it's always close by me all my way home that gear is on me and it's on me until I walk through my house and I know I'm in a safe place and then I take it off it's a nice day man hey listen guys um, know your worth know your value value your time right I always say this we have such a limited amount of time in this life don't waste it and don't let other people waste your time right it's the DEFCON 3 way just remember that that's 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 my new mantra this is gonna I'm gonna have a personalized plate on this card soon to say DEFCON 3 can't wait to do that but above all be safe